If we just simply come out in a play that has a post route that looks like this and put a receiver on that side on a flat route and then wheel our running back going that same direction, we're going to create one of the best plays in history. Now, I'll be going into greater detail on that route combo along with three other route combos that are super easy to use. You don't need any kind of special abilities and will work against the best Madden players in the world. And for total full transparency, because I think that's important, I am nowhere near the absolute best Madden player in the world, but I have won tens of thousands of dollars playing Madden. I've been on ESPN streams. I've gotten the opportunity to travel the country playing playing Madden. So what I'm trying to say is I have no life this game for like five years and hopefully I can provide some value back to you guys. Winning makes Madden fun and I want you guys to win more games and have more fun. And the reason I'm doing it is hopefully this video helps you win more games and you just watch more of my videos because they help you win more games. It's pretty basic strategy. I want to dive into a levels concept and give you a compressed variation of it and then a more spread out variation of it. Now we're using the Detroit Lions offensive playbook to demonstrate this, but these concepts apply to every playbook in a ton of different formations. And I'm gonna give you a lot of options. We could tweak a lot of this to fit whatever you need. So the play that we're going to use to demonstrate is called PA shot crossers. This is our first variation. So we're going to call that and let's go go up against random defenses here. And a levels concept, the way we're going to make this is that we're going to have two levels. Our first level is going to be kind of an over, a little bit higher level. So Jamison Williams on a crosser is going to work perfect here. But now we need an underneath level. And I'm going to do that by putting my backside wide receiver on an in route. And then I'm going to put my middle wide receiver on a flat. So now on this left side, we have a levels concept. We just look at the left. Why is this levels? We have one kind of upper level, which is Jamison Williams, and we have one underneath level, which is our in route with Josh Reynolds, okay? To get this crosser a little bit more open, we are going to streak our tight end. Whenever I'm attacking a part of the field that is about 15 yards or deeper, I want to have some sort of clear out that's going to push deep zones back. A clear out route is typically just a streak. Now, the advantage of doing a levels concept from a set like trips tight end or, you know, where we're kind of spread out is that it's going to provide two different types of spacing. One, as we get screamed at right there, one type of spacing is that it's naturally, you know, we have one deeper route and one underneath route. So you see Jameson Williams is our deep route and our underneath route is Josh Reynolds. So we kind of have that height difference, right? When these guys run, you kind of see, I'm gonna take a sack right here, but you see how they have different heights on their routes. But then the next thing you should be noticing right here is that they're gonna have different horizontal spacing too, which is a huge advantage of doing this from a spread set. You can imagine if this in route and this crosser were right next to each other, then they wouldn't have as much horizontal spacing. You see what I'm saying? And so that's gonna provide us a really nice opportunity to get the user to not be able to defend both of these guys. Cause we not only are we trying to beat the CPU on defense, we're trying to beat the user on defense too. We can't let them use our multiple of our routes. Some I haven't talked about here though, you know, we talked about the crosser, the in and the clear out, but our flat route is actually really important. So what he's gonna do is he's actually going to push all the flat zones to the sideline on that part of the field, which is gonna open up our in route sooner. If our flat route was instead on a drag, well, one, the spacing here, the horizontal spacing is bad between the drag and the in, but two, the flat zone defenders on the left side of the field can cheat in, which is going to defend the middle of the field more. So we're going to put him on a flat route. And occasionally, against some people, you see how quickly we're able to throw that in route. Against some people, if they're playing kind of off coverage, maybe they're playing conservative or they're blitzing you, they don't have a fly over there, whatever it is, he's going to be a really nice option for us. And so we go back to this again. Now, I like to cancel play action just by tapping RT. And we're going to be able to throw this again. Notice where that deep zone is. The guy who we just na laid a nasty stiffy to, love a good stiff, is he got pushed back by our deep clear out route. Okay, that's huge. Another way we could run the same concept is out of compression, right? We're in spread. What if we go to compression? Let's just use PA boot over from Bunch tight end as an example. You guys probably know I love PA boot over, but we can apply the same idea here, right? And how do we do that? Well, if we look at this play, what do we need first? We need a clear out. And then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna redrag St. Brown. And right here, we have a levels concept with our crosser and our drag. Now you might be saying, Civil, this is actually not as good because they're not, they don't have that horizontal spacing, which is true. You can kind of see they're not as well spaced out horizontally. But what this is going to do is it's going to develop a little bit faster. It's going to hit the next sideline a little bit faster. This drag, instead of being an in route all the way on the sideline, he's now a drag right here. So he's going to cross quicker. And then for Reynolds, we don't need the flat as much anymore. We could still have it, but we could put him on a zig or we could put him on a hitch or something like that. And this drag is going to do a better job against man coverage. So we're able now to run the same concept from both compression and 
from a more spread style set, right? With bigger splits between our wide receivers. So if we go back to this again, same idea. And it's going to work pretty much the same. You know, each one just offer, as we get hit, each of them offer just different advantages over the other. So the next concept we're talking about is a little bit of a variation to a typical concept you'll see in Madden called Flood. Now, if we go into the play Red Zone Up right here, the reason I want to call this play, if we look at it, is because there's a very special route here. A lot of people look at RB. This route is cute, but it's not as good as you think it's going to be. What we want is A. Whenever we have a tight end, or I'm sorry, whenever we have anybody on a corner route, we could turn that into a flood. Now, a lot of times you'll see flood concepts look something like this on the right side, where we have, you know, a flat streak and clear out. I actually like to run this whenever we're in some sort of trips set where we're spread out, where we can run this with this guy on the streak as our clear out and this guy on our smoke screen. This right here, we're not going to worry about the left side right now. This right here on the right is one of the easiest route combos you can run and get good at in Madden that's going to dominate zone coverage. This is not a great man beater. There's variations you can do to beat man better, but it's going to dominate man, 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 man coverage, right? So we go back here again. It looks like it might be man. So now what we can do actually is take our other two receivers and put them on two man beating routes, right? Let's say we go zig, come back on the left side. We go here. Oh my gosh, they ran man? Well... In this case, it's a little bit more advanced. We actually get away from the main concept here, but we utilize a zig to beat man on the other side, and we're able to go. Now, we go back to this combo. Let's see it on the right side here. That's what I'm going to be focusing on. And they run man, and we're able to hit our corner route against man. It is a tough throw. Again, I don't love this unless you have good receivers against man, but it is something you can do. And man, I'm so big. You know, I, I found out through, you know, my website where we teach people how to, you know, get better at man, win more games, and ultimately have more fun. Um... I found that a lot of people really struggle with route combos that, that have a lot of moving parts, I feel like. And so, as a result of that, you know, right here, we'll just check it underneath. And as, as a result of that, what I found is I, I want to utilize more route concepts, and this helps me a lot too, that have more stationary parts, okay? And that's really what we're trying to do here. So, we go back to this again. Oh, they play a little bit off? This is the easiest read in the world. Nobody's on top of each other. Our receivers are very well spaced out, and we're able to take advantage of this really easily, for lack of a better word. Now, what if you're in more of a kind of compressed set? What would this look like? Well, we can't run Flood exactly the same way, but let's go into something like, sure, let's go, actually, let's go into this for us, right? Let's, let's, let's do something for my under center guys. So we go I-form, and we have a corner route here. Where's the corner route? Where's a nice short corner route? Do we have one? Here we go, PA spot. Call random play. PA spot is going to be able to create a uh, Flood concept as well. Right, we have a corner out right here. Now we're just going to put a clear out outside of him, and we have a clear out. We have our corner out, and we have our flat. Now I don't love play action blocking, but we can snap this ball, and you can see how the read is easy to make. And you really want to just space these guys out well enough to where you're going to be able to have really simple reads in your head, and you don't have to worry about anything. Now you just saw me move the ball to the left hash mark. Why? I love flood concepts going to the short side of the field. So it's a pers personal thing, right? Really easy read right here. We dump it underneath, and it's safe. Actually, I say easy read as the hard flat comes down, but it's safe. That's what I love about these. It's very hard to actually throw a pick because they're just not in position. Boom. Go back under here. Easy, 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 easy. And that's what we want to do. Make our route combos really, really easy for ourselves. And flood this combo, dude. Go back 10 Maddens. This works. This will work 10 Maddens from now. You want to get better at NCAA? This will work. Now, what this sucks against, and it's not very good, is... What is it not good against? Man coverage. We'd have to, you know, use some more stuff to beat man. But just keep that in mind, right? Or we could do this, where our underneath is now the drag, and we're starting to go crazy into variations right now. And now it's going to do a little bit better against man. Boom. That is a basic idea of how to run a flood concept that goes to every Madden ever. Next concept I want to talk to you guys about is from the single back wing formation, but can be ran in a bunch of different stuff. I'll talk about that and show you. And out of the play, tight end attack, and it's post wheel flat. We mentioned this in the intro, and this route concept is literally just what the name of it is, right? Post wheel flat. So we need some sort of post route on our field. Sam Laporta comes with a post route stock in this play, so we're going to utilize that. Then we need a wheel route, post wheel. So we're going to put our halfback on a wheel. That's where we'll get a wheel route from. Now, in bunch formations, they will wheel route, or I'm sorry, in shotgun, they'll go to the side that they're on. But in single back, they will wheel to the wide side. So you want this going towards the post. And then we need a flat. So we'll just put our tight end on a flat. 
This is going to create one of the better route concepts in the game. And all we got to do is make the read between this triangle. We're first checking the tight end on a flat, then wheel, then post. It's pretty simple, and it's very, very lethal. You can see right here, bang, easily able to catch that. We could also catch that in juke. It's a very nice hot read and something that we could do very, very fast. So we go back to it again right here. This is always one of my favorite route combos. Boom. And we are able to barely make that catch right there. I'm five outing right now. So, you know, there's going to be a little bit more pressure. And let's go back to this again. This is a really good man and zone beater. I don't know why we're getting that kind of crazy animation right there, but we'll, we'll, it looks great for the video. So we'll take it. And, and it's simple, right? Boom. We go half back again. Ooh, actually good defense, but we have our flat. Our flat is a vital thing. A lot of people get their minds out of looking at the flat. Now, what if we combine this with something, though? We talked our first route combo was levels. We could create levels here. Think about it. How could we do that? We have kind of our crosser route, our, our over top level. So what if we put this guy on a drag? So we're not going to get that horizontal spacing. And we put this guy on an out. And we put this guy on a wheel. We are now doing two of the concepts in one play. We have post wheel flat here. And we have levels here. What does that mean? means that this is probably gonna be a pretty good play more likely than not right and that kind of does that kind of make sense if you have questions feel free to ask right but what if we don't want to run single back because i hate passing from under center i think it's really really bad it's just not the most optimal thing to do well let's see how we could possibly do this from something like this and let's just go back to for the sake of it pa boot over once again we have our post route which is a crosser in this case but it still works right it's still you know it's a little bit of a ultra uh variation but it works so we need a clear out route then we need a wheel so ah uh, this isn't gonna work what if we motion the wheel across so now he's going to the right and then we flat route saint brown and we just created levels and post wheel flat right just slight variations of each of them but this is really really good and of course, the very first time we get screamed at by four, I got to have better pocket presence. But you can kind of get at, see what I'm getting at here. We're able to combine things. And this is where route combos become their hardest to defend because people just can't, like, how do you defend some of these plays? And these are plays I use year after year after year because they're so friggin' good, dude. They're, they're sexy. They're hot. I love them. Let's go back to it. Boom, flat. Oh, you didn't defend the flat? You got to defend the flat route, dude. And But you got to be willing to take that flat too, right? Don't hate me, but we're in the Eagles playbook for this play, and it's the concept I like to call delayed verticals. Usually, it'll be seen in bunch formation, so we're going to come out with a bunch offset, and this is quite literally maybe the most popular play year in and year out, like combined over a five-year span. Really, really popular, verticals from bunch. Now, the reason I call this delayed verticals is because all of the receivers do attack vertically, right? But they kind of are a little delayed in, in, in doing that. And the reason they're delayed in this case is because we have two wheel routes. Now, wheels right here, if you look on the right, they're both vertical attacking routes, but they, you know, kind of immediately stem horizontally, meaning that they're a little bit delayed in their attack, right? Which is really, really cool, actually, because we're able to do some stuff with that. What this allows us to do is that in passing, typically, you pass one of two ways, right? You're either attacking horizontally on a play or you're attacking vertically, on a play so something like flood attacks vertically that we talked about earlier and something like post wheel flat attacks more horizontal because we have a lot of horizontal spacing right verticals we have routes that are going to attack horizontally and we have routes that are going to attack vertically we're doing both of those inside of the same play this is really really good and something that does not happen often which is one of the reasons why it's so popular and you see i'm able to check down my halfback consistently here but what we haven't really shown yet is that we're able to create almost like a triangle in the middle of the field between our halfback on an in route our tight end wheel he's a seam buster and then our crosser going over the middle of the field so let's see if we can actually get a good example here we get more man coverage which you know some of these routes can beat man coverage but deandre swift on his wheel route or on his in route is going to do a great job but against zone is going to create a really tough triangle for them to defend that's why i mean this is one of my most called plays this year as we get, of course, get shedded right there again. The CPU's leaving the in route open consistently, but a lot of people will do a better job of defending that. And you can see right here, we're able to throw that tight end kind of seam buster type route. And again, these can get open differently against real people. The CPU is always, you know, they're a little bit weird. We go right there, that time we're able to hit the crosser and we're able to attack the field, again, both vertically and horizontally using the concept delay verticals. 
If you like this, but you want to go deeper into actual schemes and see exactly how I run stuff that beats the best man players in the world, you can join over a thousand active members and go into my website, civil.gg, sign up, become a member. There's a promo link in the top of the description below for you just as a thank you for watching this video and see best place you could possibly go to to actually get better at Madden, have more fun, and win more games.